Things are looking like they're heating up at the moment for the Chang Hard Fork. So we're looking at these at various indicators. This is one of the indicators here, and this is how much stake is ready in the Cardano ecosystem. So that's the amount of blocks that are going through the Cardano blockchain that are minting on the latest version of the Cardano node so that we can actually do this hard fork and upgrade to the era of governance. And there's a lot of exciting things that are coming in governance, and I'm going to talk about them as well. Now, with the hard fork here, we can have a look at pooltool.io. We can see the nodes. So these are the state pools out there that are uh, reporting the different versions. S version 9.1 is the version that we're looking at. And at the moment, the nodes, the pools that are reporting it are at 71%. And we're waiting for that 70% mark. But it's more important to have a look at that uh, amount of blocks that are going through the ecosystem at that version. So at uh, that 62% at, um, at 9.1, so we're almost there. Another really good website to look at for this is the Cardano Scan website where we can see the state pool readiness here. Now, one of the other things that we do need to keep aware of is the exchange readiness. And have a look at this. We already have one exchange ready, and this is Bitfinex. So Bitfinex have upgraded their nodes to 9.1. So now we have exchange liquidity at that point and ready to be uh, launched on the Cardano ecosystem. On the Cardano Stan website here, we have this awesome table that goes through and lists all the exchanges out there and the percentage of liquidity that they have and uh, their progress of their upgrades. So we'd really like to see, you know, the big exchanges like Binance upgrade as soon as possible because they hold so much liquidity out there. You can see from the pie chart here, it doesn't quite cover that 70% of liquidity. So we do need more exchanges uh, starting this process. So if you do have an account on any of these exchanges down here, uh, tag them, DM them, uh, nudge them a little bit and tell them to upgrade their Cardano nodes so it's ready for this particular hard fork. Now, what's the point of this whole Chang hard fork? And this is the point. The Cardano treasury is what we're going to be able to tap into once the hard fork is over. So there's two stages of the hard fork, Chang 1 and Chang 2. Chang 2 will uh, enable the releasing of all these funds. And at the moment, if I just move my mouse to the end here, we're at 1.48 billion ADA in the treasury, which is a massive amount. And that's just under 580 million USD in the treasury there. And projects will be able to tap into this to run brand new projects, uh, another marketing campaign, whatever it might be, we can tap into this as a community and start running the Cardano ecosystem itself. So I'm really excited about the future here. We've seen many other ecosystems like Polkadot run their governance this way as well. And I think we're learning a lot from other ecosystems. So it's going to be quite exciting to see how things come into play when governance rolls out on the Cardano ecosystem. Now, we also have a bunch of technical things that will be uh, upgraded in the process too. Uh, this is a presentation I did at the Brisbane meetup last week. Uh, you can check out the video so that it is in the uh, live stream section of my YouTube channel. But we do have some new Cardano improvement proposals coming in, some new primitives. Plutus V1 reference scripts, which will optimize and speed up the Cardano blockchain as well. Overall, all these changes will make transactions and smart contract executions cheaper and faster. So I'm really excited about that. Chain doesn't just bring governance, it brings optimizations to the chain as well. Now, last weekend, I also attended a DREP workshop to learn more about what DREPs mean for the Cardano ecosystem, the roles, responsibilities, and everything around it. And that was held by Mark from Self Driven and Phil from Empower, Amplify, and Viral Consulting. So fantastic weekend, guys. Uh, thank you for putting it on. But we covered a lot of topics around the whole DREPs and the future of Cardano governance. So that's really exciting to hear. Now, I also registered as a DREP to see what the process is like. I have to say it's super easy thanks to the uh, tools that have been put out there. And this is the Sancho Gov Tools dashboard. I'm assuming the name might change when it goes to mainnet, but I, I kind of like the name as it is. It kind of uh, gives the history here and the whole Sancho testnet that was created. But the whole dashboard here, it's super easy to use. You do have to set up your uh, Eternal or your Roy wallet and connect it to the Sancho Net network. So it's not the main net Cardano. This is Sancho Net. So you have test ADA and everything there. You do have to fill your wallet. I'll put links down below so you can learn how to go through this process and see what it's like. 
But here we can delegate your voting power. You can register as a DREP. You can register as a direct voter. So if you're not going to delegate to a DREP or be a DREP yourself, you can just hold your own wallet and just vote in the process. And it will give you the default actions, either abstain or no confidence. And they're the default ones that you need to register for and set your votes on so that you actually uh, gain some ADA rewards. Otherwise, from what I understand, if you don't have that devote default voting option in your wallet, you won't get the ADA rewards. So it's it's going to uh, require people to become active and participate in Cardano governance. So have a look at the uh, Sancho Gov tools and see how that whole process works. Any ADA delegate out there will actually have to go through this process and see what it's all about. So uh, I'll put links down below so you guys can be kept up to date with all things there. Now, one of the other interesting things that came up out of this was should DREPs be compensated for their work? And we had a really good discussion within the DREP workshop itself. And I also took this online and a lot of people were either for or against this. And uh, it, was, it was quite interesting to see what the comments were. But I'd love to hear your comments. Leave a comment down below. There's a lot of work that these DREPs will have to do in the future. Uh, I, I suspect in the early days, being a DREP will be quite easy. There won't be many governance actions that need to be looked into or voted on. But later on, there will be. There'll be more proposals. There'll be a lot more people coming on board um, asking for funding from the Treasury. And the job of these DREPs is to look into these proposals and vote in either way for their delegates. So it's going to take a lot of work. At some point in time, maybe in a year, two years time, being a DREP, I suspect will be a full time job, 40 hours a week, maybe even more to go through all these governance actions and vote accordingly. So that's where I see it going. But I'd love to hear what you guys think. Please leave a comment down below. Should DREPs be compensated for the amount of time and effort that they put into uh, helping governance on the Cardano ecosystem? That's it. That's all I have in this video update. The Chang Hard Fork seriously is very, very close at the moment. And make sure you hit that like and subscribe on your way out. And I'll see you in the next video.